Welcome to the Echo Backyard Farm. Uh, in this episode, we will be uh, relocating our uh, waiting pile and uh, putting up screen so that the dogs, Bobby and Wolfie, won't destroy it. Now we are uh, dog proofing the place that uh, we chose where to put the, the new waiting pile. Actually, it's this place over here. This is where we're going to put the new waiting pile just beside our compost house and just at the back where Banju is buried. So Banju can uh, tell his sons not to destroy what we're doing. So after we, uh, we're done uh, fencing this off, we're going to put here the grasses that we cut from a few weeks back so it can uh, decompose initially here before we transfer it in our compost house. <coughs> We are now here, just before uh, our um, compost uh, hut or house, and I'm going to show you the progress of our sayote plant. Uh, you can see here, it's already formed the fruit. Actually, in English, it's uh, I think pronounced chayote with a CHA in front but in Filipino it's just plain S-A-Y-O so Sayote here's another one hopefully uh, because we are, we are trying out our uh, new HD video cam so hopefully this would be vivid when we edit it out so, a sayote or chayote plant is a actually very big vine. It will consume a lot of space. So, if you're planning to plant chayote or sayote, do it in an open area, far away from your other crops. Hey, uh, little fishies. Actually, you're not little anymore. Just going to give you a few months, then we're going to eat you. <laughs> Oh, they're really good looking pink tilapias. This is a talilong. It's a, a local local variety of spinach here in the Philippines. See how lush the leaves are. So, what I'm going to do is to take the leaves out and we're going to cook it uh, for dinner. Actually, talidong will help you a very big deal when you're doing your business when you're on the can. Very good. So, these are the leaves that I got, that I got from... Uh, the talilong plant so what we're going to do with this later is to just saute it and it will taste so good no it's dog proof so they can now safely move over cut grasses there or waiting tile here outside so that once it drains the tile will become wet and the uh, uh, decomposition process will start. Okay, you can see once it is inside, it remains dry and yeah, nothing happens much. Okay, so that's the day's work. It's a leaky fuel line. And I stink of diesel. So this line was rubbed raw. So it was leaking. 
that's why it was smelling of diesel so I'm changing the line okay that's good but at least you can go home <laughs>